Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing something that I have been looking forward to for a really long time. I got this box in the mail today. As you see, it's from Diode Dynamics. So let's go ahead and open up this box to see what's inside. This is a 2015 to 2017 DRL kit. So after installing this, I will be able to choose basically any color that I want in my headlights. And that is gonna be controlled through this little Bluetooth controller right here, which is awesome. It hooks up to your phone and you use their app and can actually pick out what color that you want in your headlights. So it's gonna be really, really cool. These are the LED boards that we're gonna be replacing in the headlights. So obviously for this job, we're gonna have to take off the front bumper and remove the headlights. So I've got a few tools here. So let's go ahead and get started on pulling the front bumper off and then removing the headlights. Now, if you notice on the headlights right here, I previously had done this little tent kit from American Muscle and for the look and the price, it is definitely worth it. But I'm just ready to get this chrome painted black as well as take off this tent. So it's just gonna look like a lot more quality. So this is gonna be the first time that you guys are gonna be able to hear a true cold start with this Corsa kit that I just put on for the exhaust and the headers. This ought to be interesting. That is one wicked cold star. Good lord, man. I'm just gonna turn this wheel now to get the wheels out of the way so I can get started on removing this fender liner. So now I'll be able to easily access these little push pins right here. So there's gonna be two right here. One's at the bottom, one's right here at the top. And then there's gonna be one more way in here but you guys are not going to be able to see this so i'm going to remove that one real quick so now i got the push pins on one side done let me move on to the other so next step is to pop the hood <laughs> that supercharger makes me smile every time i see it now go ahead and remove this radiator cover right here okay make sure you don't lose those push pins by the way and now you'll notice that there's going to be six bolts right here that you need to remove and these are eight millimeter bolts Okay, so all of those are out now. Set those out of the way. Next step is to get your 732nds, and you'll notice there are very small screws right here at the very end near the headlights. So go ahead and remove those. And again on the other side. And set those out of the way as well. So the next step is gonna be under the bumper. You need to remove all of these splash shield bolts down here. There are so many of these bolts under here. So once you get done taking out all the bolts on the bottom, your bumper is then ready to be removed, so you can go ahead and pull this baby out. Once you can get your hand down inside of there, then go ahead and disconnect all electrical components that you have. And now the bumper is ready to be pulled completely off. So now you see that I got the bumper removed. Make sure you keep this somewhere where it's not going to be damaged. So now we are ready to get started on removing the headlights out of the car. So now the headlights on these cars are very easy to remove as well once you have the bumper off. All you're gonna need is a 13 millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket. So go ahead and get started on removing the outside bolts that are seen here. Then go ahead and swap to your 10 millimeter socket. Remove this one on the bottom. This one up here on the top. Then your headlight is ready to be pulled out and removed. Be very careful with the headlight. Now the wire harness is actually clipped onto there, so you can actually just pull this clip off. And then you need to disconnect this connector here, like so. And now your Mustang headlight is completely removed. So go ahead and repeat the same steps on the other side. 13 millimeter first to get this outside bolt. And then swap over to your 10 millimeter. And again, the top bolt. And the bottom bolt. And now the other side's taken out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tuck these wiring harnesses out of the way, that way in case it rains, these connectors will not be exposed to rainwater. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Okay, connectors are tucked up out of the way. Hood is ready to be closed now. And so now we are ready to take the headlights inside to get started on opening them. Okay, get a cardboard box and go ahead and open it up and lay it out on your carpet or whatever kind of foil that you have because this is about to get messy. So let's get started on the first headlight. The first thing that I'm gonna do is obviously remove this little tent kit that I got from American Muscle a long time ago when I first got the car. And now this tent was basically here just to cover up this gaudy orange uh, reflector on the side of the headlights. But like I said, I'm going to be 
painting everything on the inside of the headlight black anyways, so I'm not gonna be worried about it anymore. Next thing that you're gonna need is a heat gun, a small Phillips head screwdriver, a few flat heads that you can basically kiss goodbye because these are about to get disgustingly sticky and dirty. <laughs> and grab a microfiber that way i can clean these lenses off because there is some sticky residue left behind from this tent okay so i have some isopropyl rubbing alcohol here i'm gonna pour some onto this microfiber and basically just clean up the lens of this headlight real fast i doubt you guys will need to do this i am just doing it so i can get them cleaned up so time to get started this is going to be scary for most people if this is your first time doing this but it's not that bad just make sure that you're very very patient and take your time because again these headlights are extremely extremely expensive and you do not want to mess them up but i'm going to give you guys the most helpful tips that i can so that you guys don't mess up your headlights so first things first go ahead plug in your heat gun and get it ready for operation next thing that you want to do get your small phillips head screwdriver that i told you about and go ahead and begin removing the screws that you'll notice on the bottom of the headlight housing there's gonna be four screws lining the bottom of this headlight. And basically this is just holding this black housing onto the uh, clear lens on the front of the headlight. The four screws right here along the bottom of the headlight have been removed. So the next thing, the next thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is start heating this here junction where the plastic of the housing meets up with the clear lens on the front of the headlight. I just wanna mention a few things before you guys get started on doing this. Make sure that you do not get your heat gun too close to the plastic as it will begin to melt. This is gonna be a long process, it's gonna take a bit. You need to let the actual glue heat up thoroughly before attempting to remove it because if you don't do that, then you're gonna to start to bend these channels right here where the actual sealant is sitting and you don't wanna do that. It makes it a hassle resealing the headlights and it's just a big ordeal that you need to avoid if possible. Another thing that I wanna mention is that there are these black plastic tabs that are holding the clear lens onto the black headlight housing and you're gonna to wanna to be very careful with these tabs because they're gonna to need to be snapped back into place upon reinstallation of this lens after you get done doing the work on the inside of the headlight. So be very careful, don't bend these back too far and also keep in mind that they are there. Don't try to pry these apart without pulling these tabs up first because they're gonna to need to be up to separate the two. Keeping those things in mind, let's go ahead and begin heating up the glue, sealing these two pieces together with our heat gun. And again, like I said, you're gonna to have to do this for quite a while. It's not a quick process. There is an easier way to do it by baking them in the oven. If you have an oven big enough that you can fit them in, but unfortunately mine is not. Plus, I don't like sticking the entire headlight into the oven just because I don't want the entire housing getting heated up to 250 degrees. I would rather just use a heat gun and directly target the area that I'm looking for to get heated up. It's just an easy way to prevent damage. Okay, so I have been heating at these now for quite a good minute. So go ahead and take your flathead screwdriver. You can go ahead and get started on prying these black tabs up like I was telling you guys about. Go ahead and gently put the flathead in the crack between the two pieces of plastic and just begin prying them apart gently. I like to do like you see here and just shove it in the crack and drag it down to the end just because it helps get that sealant separated between the two. And so now you can see that it's getting really gummy because it's been getting heated up. So just be very careful when you're doing this. You don't want to tear up the housing or the lens and it's very easy to do so. Again, just continue to heat up the glue in the areas that you're frying at. That way you can get them separated a lot easier. Whew. And Oh, they are separated. Whew, that took some work. So I finally got the two pieces separated now. A few things that I wanna talk about. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on removing these chrome pieces that I'm gonna to have to take to the paint shop to get painted gloss black. I'll show you guys how to do that in just a second. But one thing that I wanna mention is that whenever you're resealing your headlights, you notice that in these channels right here, all this stock glue needs to be removed before you put down your new sealant. My favorite sealant that I use for doing headlights is this. It is Morimoto Retro Rubber Sealing Glue. This stuff works amazing. It's very, very easy to use. It comes as a string and all you're gonna do is lay the rubber into there. If you look closely, you can just lay it in this canal. And then once you get it laid in there, take your heat gun, heat it all back up to where it is almost dripping because it's so sticky. So take this lens, 
stick it on there back in place and just clamp it back together and it's very very easy to do so you basically just reverse the process clamp it back together and then reinstall the screws that we took out at the very beginning so with that being said let's go ahead and get started on removing this chrome so go ahead and grab your small phillips head screwdriver and you'll see a lot of small phillips head screws along the outer rim of this headlight housing and basically these little screws are just holding this inner bezel right here into the lens of the headlight so now that you removed all four of these screws that are holding this bezel on, you can go ahead and remove it. And now you've got the clear lens here separated from the inside of the actual headlight. So once you are to this step, all that needs to be done now is to tape off everything that is already black. So basically leave the chrome parts and the orange uh, reflector here exposed and tape everything else off and then go ahead and get it all painted. In my case though, I'm not gonna be doing it myself. I'm gonna be bringing it to a professional at a paint and body shop. That way the outcome is optimal for the headlights. I would rather have actual automotive grade paint on the headlights rather than just a rattle can, spray paint, aerosol can, whatever you wanna call it. And we'll be doing that probably in a few videos from now. But as for today, that's probably gonna be it. I just wanted to give you guys basically a tutorial on how to open up headlights the easy way. Now I need to repeat these steps on this other headlight over here and then take both chrome pieces from both headlights obviously to the body shop to get painted. So be sure you guys stick around for that. I can't wait to have these headlights all back together, painted gloss black and everything. They are gonna look absolutely incredible, especially being able to change the colors of the headlights. It's gonna be great. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. If this video was even helpful to you in the slightest on how to open up headlights at home, then make sure you drop this video a like Comment down below and let me know what you guys think about these headlights and what I'm doing with the car. Make sure you guys stick around because there's going to be a lot of stuff going on with this car this week. And if you're not already subscribed, please make sure you hit that subscribe button below. Until next video.